live from Studio 46, this is Good Morning Union Canal. Good Morning Union Canal, a place where we show respect, show responsibility, show safety, and do our job. Please rise for the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And now let's say our Union Canal Creed. Today is a new day to reach my potential. You may be seated. Good morning. Today is Thursday, March 30th, 2017. Today is day three on a special schedule. The announcements this morning are given by Jenna Seifert and Lisa Franco. Today's lunch is taco soft shell, lettuce, tomato, onion, cheese, salsa. 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 Nachos. Salsa. Cheryl Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Bar and Milk. On the salad bar is cream of potato soup. And the sandwich of the week is sweet bologna and cheese or a plain old cheese sandwich. <laughs> and Mason Arnold, Joy, Nagy, Gavin, Becker, and Kara Boyd. We would like to welcome all our guest teachers who are with us today. Today's top stories are tomorrow is an act day day, which means there is no school for you. Here's a list of some fun act 80 day activities you can do on your day off. Mr. Swift. We've been pouring through 
the submissions and we have selected a few that we think will help you get to know M Mr. Swift a little bit better. Oh, hey, Jenna, on a completely unrelated note, did you know Taylor Swift has already won 11 American Music Awards, seven Grammy Awards, and six Country Music Association Awards, and she's only 27 years old? No, Jesus, no, I didn't. All right. Well, I, I just thought I would mention that fun fact about Taylor Swift. And now let's see what questions you ask in our returning segment, Leaders to the Editor. to Leditors to the Editor, or I guess as it's now called, Leaders to the Editor, uh, or something like that. We're being joined today by Mr. Swift. Mr. Swift, welcome. Hey. Mr. Swift, we've asked our students here at Union Canal to ask you questions to get to know you a little bit better. And you know, we usually have a song that plays through Leditors to the Editor, but I think I'm going to change songs. Great, that's going to be a lot better. Our first question comes from a second grader. Uh, Mr. Swift, do you like Taylor Swift? Uh... Yeah, I, I guess so, yeah. You guess so. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Next question. Are you Taylor Swift's biggest fan? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm her biggest fan, but, but I like her. So, like, top top ten fans, probably. Oh. Top ten. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's, that's a lot. There's a lot of fans. Are you Taylor Swift's brother? No. You, okay, uh, you're not. That's, that was a definitive answer. He is not her brother. Not her brother. Are you Taylor Swift's cousin? No, unfortunately. You're not, not Taylor not, Swift's cousin not, either. Okay, mm, that's a, that's a shame. Are you Taylor Swift's dad? How old do you think I am? Well, you don't want my answer on that one, but I am going to say this. Now we're not going to get into a genetics discussion here, but uh, typically, I, I believe Taylor Swift is 27 years old, and, and Mr. Swift is is not quite 27 years old. So typically, uh, parents are, for the most part, older than their children. Typically, we're not going to get into any details, but that's just. We'll assume that, that you are not Taylor Swift's dad. I think so. You think so? Okay, well, the jury is still out then. Are you Taylor Swift's uncle? No. You're not? Okay. I'm not. You had to think about that when I see it. I had to really give that some thought. Are you married to Taylor Swift? <laughs> married to Taylor Swift. I am not married to Taylor You're Swift. You're not? Ooh, well, well. Guess you wouldn't be here learning to get, to get a job if you were married to Taylor Swift, because, uh, ho, cha-ching, right? Am I right? Okay. Are you related to Taylor Swift? Okay, I'm put it out there. I am of no relation, no relation. to Taylor you Swift. Do not, you, no, she's from the area, you know. I know, she she's is from, from the, the area, area so, so it's not, it's not, but... it's, it, it is in the realm of possibility. You know, we actually got some non-Taylor Swift questions for you, too. You like to hear oh, some of those? Yes, Okay, great. Absolutely. Now, here we go. Yeah, this very engrossing question here. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is orange. Orange. Oh, well, I can see you did not wear your favorite color then today. Yeah. Bad choice. Bad choice. How long have you teached music? That's what it says. Uh, well, I've been going to school for music for four years, but um, just this past year, I started teaching music. Oh, you started about, teached, teached in I, music. I started teached ding. Teach ding music. music. That's about a year. Phrase it the right yep. way. Thank you. Have you ever heard of hot cross buns? Yes, I, I have. You have heard of hot I cross buns. That's hot a, cross uh, buns. Most people have, I'd say. This is actually a multi-part question. Do you have a wife? Do you have a son and a daughter? Can you run really fast? Is your first name Taylor? Are you funny? Can you please answer all those questions? I'm not going to repeat any of them. I will repeat none of them. No. 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 Yes. Oh. I, I don't know. If oh. I got it. Yes. I, don't, I forget. The oh order. my gosh! I can't believe you said yes to that one. Wow! My oh, goodness gracious! Cool. Now there's been some controversy here. Someone would like to know what is your real name is. That's how it's phrased here. What is your real name is, Mr. Swift? What is your real name is? I'm not sure. I know how to answer that question. Oh, being a little, a little elusive there. I see. Okay. Keep asking those questions, guys. Get to the bottom of the facts. Don't let the fake news sway you. Right? Okay. Here's a question. 
Are you related to Stromile Swift? I think I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. A former NBA player. No, but I wish I was. Uh, he would be a little taller than I bet. Hey, are you Swift? Do you get it? That's what the question says. A little jokester out there. Are you Swift? Do you, do you get it? First, I'm not sure if the question, this is a kind of a two part question. Are you Swift? And then also, do you get it? I get it. You get it. You get it. That's good. And you didn't answer the first question. Though. I think I'm pretty swift. You're pretty swift, okay. More importantly, he gets it. We have one final question. Dear Mrs. Smith, how long have you been learning to be a music teacher? Uh, I think this is not for you, actually. This is for uh, some a music teacher named Mrs. Smith, who may, be, may or may not be out there teaching music somewhere. If you're watching this program, we would like to know how long have you been learning to be a music teacher, Mrs. Smith? So Mrs. Smith, if you could write in or, or post in the comments below, that'd be great. Uh, we would really, someone really wants to know how long you have been a music teacher. How long do you think Mrs. Smith has been a music teacher? I don't know. You're not even gonna guess. You have no guess on Mrs. Smith. She has done so much in your career, you're not even gonna give her the time of day to guess how long she's been a music teacher. You've got a lot of nerve. Well, now you know a little bit more about Mr. Swift and his non-relation to Taylor Swift and also exciting things like uh, his favorite color and, and things of that nature. So thanks for writing in, all of you kids who did that. We'll see you next time on Leaders to the Editor. And now let's head over to Mrs. Bame with the weather. weather. Mrs. Bame. The weather forecast for today is partly cloudy skies with a high of 54 degrees. There looks to be some rain in the forecast for your day off tomorrow, so you can enjoy not having to sit inside at school all day, but by sitting inside at home instead. The weekend looks to warm up by Sunday, the high in the low 60s. Make it a great one. Thanks, Mrs. Bain, for Jenna Cypher and all of us here on Good Morning Unicana. I'm Nathan Frank, we're wanting you to make it, make it, make it happen and have a great day. I came back from the hospital and I'm back for more! Yay! Me! I have a look at Here's something for Jesus! It was very nice of those those ladies to let me work in here where it's nice and quiet and I can I can just do something very very nice and helpful very helpful I, I, I gotta figure out the what I what I need to do to get right in the head oh let me see what can I do Falcon Fal Honey, Fal Falcone. Hi oh, there, it's Madame Falcone. WB, I'm waiting for you. I, that's what I can do. I can call Madame Falcone. She helped me before. May maybe she can help me again. Oh, I need to get a phone book. Where oh, here we go. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh. I really need to call Madame Falcone. Oh, no. Madame Falcone, help me. Oh. Help me. Oh, I, I, oh, Madame Falcone, help me.